Hello, I'm Sejina. Welcome to my older room. I know that there's quite a bit of things. These are my, I'm going to turn it sideways. These are shawls that I have bought and they're hanging up for the simple fact of waiting for orders to be made, decorated or whatever. And that little black thing there is my little kitty. She's three and a half years old. Her name's Druid. And the mirror behind her I've been working on for the last couple of years. A friend of mine found it in the trash and it was too beautiful to let go. Anyway, over here at this wall, all those up there are head pieces and headbands that I have made and designed myself. This table here is my supply table for my order room. It's all messed up right now. This drawer is my incense and other things that I need for my witchcraft. A lot of different things that you can use for spells, healing, dangers, church. This is a headpiece, an element headpiece, which is for, uh, which is for wind. This headpiece is for the earth. This is for fire. And that is for water. Yes, I made all of those. This thing here, right here, is my dragon staff. What's holding it in place, this here, is my scepter. And this staff here is my fairy staff. I know you're asking, what was that? What was that? And these down here are my wands, some of the crystals and mineral stones that I've gotten. These are my, these are my gods and goddesses, goblets that I made, I painted, I bought and painted. These colorful black stones are my center stones. When I get ready to cast a really strong, heavy spell, I place those around the floor in a circle. The candles right now that you see on the floor, I put there last night. I've been meditating for the last couple of days. Oh, I can't forget this little guy. This is my little... Little man, he's a year old. His name is Draco. Also my familiar. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this. This is my biggest supplies has all different types of goodies in it. Yes, I use those those liquor bottles for certain things or whatever the goddess wants me to use them for. Same with these pans are my saging pans or smudging. Same with this. There's so many. And there are rocks and stones. Same with this. Anyway, this, this part of my older up on the wall has all different Comments, statements, postings, sayings, and right in the middle 
If you can read that, it says Reflection of Life's Winds. I am doing my altar this year in reflection of the paths of past of the lives that I have lived this year. Not in the past, but uh, all the challenges and everything that I've done. And this below, I, I always recommend my students to place at least two mirrors up on their older, whether it's on the wall or on the, on the table itself. And so you can see your, ref sometimes see your reflection, sometimes you can see spirits in the mirrors who wish to be present or speak or whatever. And the Christmas lights are for extra energy charge. The bottom of this, I have been working with with crystals and stones for quite a while. I kind of picked up on why the people that made the hedges on Paradise Island and I figured it out the reason why they were placing the stones like they did on the stone hedges was to create kind of like a portal or like a door have you. Uh, they were also studying witchcraft, deep, deep, deep witchcraft, which is spiritual, very spiritual. And uh, they were pl they were placing these stones in a certain spot where they were placed at from more or less the witch doctor. And they were placing them in those spots. And if you would go over and look at them, each stone has a specific stone element in it. Not all of them have it, but there are certain stone elements in it. No, I haven't been over there, but I have seen visions of what the stones each have in it and why. But that's the reason why my altar is set up with stones like they are. Most of about, I'd say about 98% of them are raw crystals. I do not cut my crystals, which means I don't break the stone. Take too much chance on breaking the prism in it. The prism in a crystal, the prism in a crystal is more or less the heart of a crystal. Almost like us. Only, almost like humans. You break our heart or stab us, shoot us, kill us, or whatever, but you go through our heart, you will, it will kill us, correct? Okay? This is a raw, I mean, a very raw rose quartz. I found this one down at the trough. In matter of fact, I've gathered most of my large crystals like this down at the train tracks. Now, if you would crack this, the prism inside this, this crystal would most likely crack. You crack a prism inside a crystal, you lose half of its energy. That's the reason why I don't and will not allow anybody to crack my crystals. I refuse to crack them because they hold 100% of energy. Once you crack that prism inside that crystal, you only get half. You only get half of what you used to have. And then you have to recharge it almost every couple months, every couple weeks. It all depends on, it, that really doesn't depend on the largeness or the smallness of a crystal. They all hold the same, same amount of energy. But once you crack it, you lose half of it. If you have any more, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to ask me. Even, you know, even you older witches who have more knowledge than I do, if you have any suggestions, by all means, throw it at me. And yes, I will say, no, I didn't come into it at my own free will. I was born a witch. My mother was a witch, my, so was it my grandmother, and so on and so forth. We are gypsy witches. We came from Brazil, which is around Russia. And... Uh, we came to America about 250 years ago. 
So, but I am probably the fifth member of my of my mother's side of the family that have came out and have embraced my gift. I have many gifts besides being a witchcraft, being a witch. So, but if anybody has any any questions, suggestions, opinions, even if you just feel like chewing on my leg just because, go for it. Always welcome. I hope you enjoyed my video.